Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is HTML full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last two episodes, um, in the first one I introduced you to HTML. We talked about the frequently asked questions and I also answered some of the basic things like what browser to use, which editor to use, etc. In the second episode, we learned a little bit of basics like how do you save the file, how do you open it, how do you see the view source, how do you inspect an element. We saw a little bit about the structure of the page. Today we are going to take a deeper look in terms of the elements. If you understand today's episode, I promise you a lot of things will get very, very easy as you move forward in this particular playlist. Today we are talking about elements in HTML page and what they are, how do we use them and much, much more. Let's get started. This is part three of the series. If you have missed out the first two parts, I'll request you to please check them out so that you have continuity in your learning. All right, so let's talk some of the basic things first. What are HTML elements? Okay, so think of it this way. In the last episode also I told you, any an HTML element is defined by a start tag, we'll add some content inside it, and then the closing tag. Anything that we write inside the tags becomes an element. That can be any element. It can be a link, a table, a list, a image, a button, a form, a input, a select dropdown, anything. So remember this. When I say HTML elements, that means I am referring to something which will have a start tag, which will have an end tag. Okay. HTML has a predefined set of elements for us to use. Okay. There are there are some fixed HTML tags or elements that we can use, but that doesn't stop it there. We can also extend it using other frameworks like React, Angular, etc. HTML page is a nested structure. Okay. Nested why? Because we write inside the tags inside tags. HTML is forgiving. That means if even if you skip a closing tag you will not see any error or page crashing or compilation error or anything of those sorts. Okay, so that's the basic underlining principle, but I want to explain all these concepts in code. So let's go there with the hands on now. If you remember in the last episode, we learned this that the first thing that we define in a page in a HTML page is the doc type HTML. And then we said, now you answer me, what is this HTML? Now HTML in this case is a element which has a starting tag and a closing tag. Okay, so start speaking that language now. So this is <coughs> HTML elements will have start tag, some content inside it, inside and a closing tag. <coughs> so HTML, this is a element start tag end tag end tag you will always write with backslash okay remember that inside html you will have a head section inside this you would inside the html you will have body so html head and body tag okay those are the three main structure of the page now i'm going to introduce you to some more tags to show you how nested things if you see this will keep becoming a nest top root is HTML, then body, then I'm writing writing a paragraph. Okay. Hello from inside the paragraph. So if you notice here, HTML, the structure is like this. Now you have HTML, you have head, then you have body inside body. You have paragraph, right? So see it will, it is forming a tree structure, right? It's a structured thing. So inside tags, inside tag. So what essentially you're learning is this is an element or a tag which is inside other tag. Now this tag is inside another tag. So HTML is nested. Okay. HTML is nested. That means tags inside tags. Okay. I hope now you are clear as to what is an element. How do you write a basic HTML and how do you write the tags inside tag. Now, if you understand this particular structure, rest everything is will be very, very easy for you. Okay. And let's go ahead and let me introduce you to some of the uh, tags that I want to cover today. Again, nothing fancy fancy, but just to show you how it could be. Now, some, uh, some of you can ask me, 
can I write a paragraph inside paragraph right now I told you let me show you an example or before that let me show you an interesting thing so I have this paragraph which says hello from inside the paragraph now I'm starting one more paragraph but I'm not adding closing tag okay I told you all the elements will have a opening tag closing tag opening tag closing tag but for this I'm not writing paragraph without the closing tag now save it what do you think will be the output please let me know in the comment section without running the code and without checking it but I'm going to show you so if you see it will print both the things there is no error there is no error there is no compilation error if you see the console it's clean there are no errors because HTML will not give you errors will not give you errors okay so we need to be smart we need to be active enough to see that what code we are writing review it thoroughly and make sure our code is good HTML will not give you error but when you build complex sites the page will break the page layout will break when you do it in real-time complex projects right uh, so we don't think that there won't be any effect there will be effect but you can't see it now because we don't have much data or content but in real practical projects it will break the page layout okay so always the best practice is always make sure that you close the tags okay opening tag every opening tag must have a closing tag okay there are also something called self closing tags I'll come to this little I will explain them later also but just giving you a hint there are some tags which are called self closing tags because they won't have a closing tag okay most HTML that's why if you remember I wrote the word most will have closing tags okay few will not have they are called self closing tags like a image element image element you will give the source and then you can close it right there you don't have this these are called self closing tags which where you are closing the tag right after the element is declared or defined okay we will cover that later don't get confused if you feel this is confusing you can skip this part okay for now for now we'll come back to it again but understand the reason I'm talking all this is because I want you to know that every opening tag should have a closing tag it can be nested okay like this I can have a div inside this I can have a paragraph para inside div and I can have one more div and I can have one more paragraph and say paragraph inside child div and so on and so forth and goes on you can keep building anything that you want okay and if you save here third leg and why am I using only paragraphs now so that you don't get confused okay I'm using only paragraphs that is p tag only so that you don't get confused but we will start learning about all the tags in the coming episodes but understand this is the fund foundation of HTML refresh the page and you will see all the data para inside third leg inside child inside div okay now there are two ways that you can see the structure okay that's very very important very very important point which is <coughs> viewing the structure of HTML page okay how do you see the structure of a HTML page I told you you can see it via view source you can right click and say view source you can see all the source code in the right in the browser okay that's number one through view source option the second option is uh, clicking on inspect okay in this page right click and do inspect and you can see paragraphs inside div div has another div it has the paragraphs and if you see this is called a pointer I'll cover this tutorial also to console but for now when I take the mouse over here you can see that it gets highlighted the element gets highlighted okay so you can see the structure here also used with inspect mode the third option is in the editor itself okay 
where do you see it in the editor if you see in the outline you go to HTML it will give you a outline you see here I'm going to collapse this and you see here the structure it shows you the outline you have HTML then you have body then you have a div here you have a paragraph then you have a div and so on right so that's the third way the third way is in the editor it will whenever you select a file it will automatically show you the outline in the visual studio code editor okay I'm sure it would be there for other editors but I have not worked on uh, any other uh, editor for last few years I love this editor so I recommend everybody that okay so that being said um, let's recap quickly in this episode and we will conclude the basic of elements because we have to start with our um, actual elements so in the next episode I'll talk about attributes of an element then we go bang bang on the elements okay so quick revision HTML all the web pages will start with doc type HTML you have the main root tag which is your HTML HTML will have a head section and a body section all the content that is visible in the browser should be written inside the body tag okay head section is for mostly for including our metadata styles and JavaScript we can have nested elements okay an element is nothing but any tag with opening tag some content and closing is called a element okay this is a start tag all the end tags will have backslash okay, with the same name so if you have body it will have body backslash you can have nested layout that means elements inside another element okay and you can have it at any level that you want to build okay these are the basic things that you should know about elements and if you are clear on this in the next episode we will talk about attributes okay um, HTML with no content are called empty tags okay for sure like if you want to just throw in an empty paragraph this is a paragraph it won't do anything it's an empty tag it will not be visible in the page okay see there is no content but if you inspect you will see that paragraph added to in the HTML it's there but there is no data you see here there is a paragraph left space is left but there is no content those are called empty tags okay empty tags like with no content that means opening and closing tag which has no content is called empty tag HTML is not case sensitive which means you can add this like capital P that's fine para here from uppercase and refresh and it is still outputting with uppercase HTML is not case sensitive okay but the best practice the best practice is to always write lowercase okay is lowercase okay remember that it's not wrong to write it in uppercase it's just not a best practice it would be messy if I have some like div as cap some are closing looks ugly in reading you can't read it properly it's difficult to maintain so always write it in lowercase now good news over a period of time when you use many tags like for now I'm sure you would have seen I have used paragraph and now you already know that there is a paragraph element already and you have seen there is a body tag there is a div all these things you are learning just by doing it every day so remember that the more you work the more you practice you would come across these things and eventually you can learn all the predefined HTML tags by heart okay so that's a promise but for that you need to put in time and effort in today's episode we concluded about elements okay the basic foundation in the next episode I'll talk about attributes which are very very important about HTML once you know this we will start learning about the predefined set of elements that are available in HTML it's going to be fun journey please do not hesitate if you feel discouraged if you feel low in learning if you feel confused please do let me know in how I can make it better for you how I can make it easy for you remember I'm here to help you I'm here to help you and see that you succeed 
together we are learning together we will grow thank you so much for joining in this episode i'll see you in the next episode